Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are making this amazing African flower crochet yoga ball cover. To make the exercise ball cover, you will need to make a total of 65 hexagons and 12 pentagons. They're easy to make. It's the same pattern for both. We just change how many stitches we put in the first round and that decides whether it's going to be a pentagon or a hexagon. Also a great idea to get all of your ends sewn in and we just finish on this row because we're going to do a join as you go. So we don't need to put on the black color or whatever color you're using for joining. We just finish on this row and get them all ready to go. So 65 hexagons and 12 pentagons. One of your hexagons, so 64 hexagons with full petals, and one hexagon where you change color every row. This special hexagon will mark our access point to our exercise ball if we need to pump it up or change it or remove it for washing, anything like that. This will be the square that we're gonna be looking for. So there's three different colors on the inside for the petals and the flower opposed to just the two colors. For these hexagons, I just used scrap yarn, just some regular four weight worsted weight acrylic. In whatever colors I had that I liked, it would be a great stash buster. For these hexagons and this yarn, I used a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a needle. So let's get started. Pick one of your pentagons, one of your five petal flowers, and your five hexagons to go around the outside. And we're gonna start by completing our very first pentagon. To start the last round, we need to insert our hook into the center stitch of our petal. So right into the fourth stitch. So there is one, two, three, there's number four, and then there's five, six, and seven. That's where we wanna put in our hook loop of yarn on your hook, bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join and drop your tail. Chain two, one and two and now one double crochet into each of the stitches until we reach the fourth stitch of, so one double crochet into each stitch until we reach the fourth stitch of the next petal. So I kind of want to keep my eye on that. One, two, three, and here is four. You can pop a stitch marker in there if you'd like, just to keep track of it. And you could even do that for all of your petals going around if you are new to this method. So wrap your yarn and one double crochet into each stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the next one is our fourth stitch. So I don't count the drop down double crochet, I just kind of pinch that. I'm counting the stitches after, so one, two, and three. So into the fourth stitch is gonna be our corner, and corners are one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. So we're going to do that into the fourth stitch from every petal, working all the way around this first pentagon. So there's our first pentagon ready to go. And I'm not going to sew in these tails yet in case I need to remove them or if you make a mistake or something like that, they're still easy enough to undo and correct. So now bringing the next flower in that we're going to work on. These are now six petal flowers. So make sure you put all of your pentagons a little out of reach so you don't grab one by mistake. So we're going to work all the way around our flower with the black until we have one side left. When you reach your last stitch marker or the fourth stitch of your last petal, we're just going to put in one double crochet. One double crochet. And now we're ready to join. 
I always like to put what I am joining up top and what I'm working on closer to me. Now I'm working on a flat surface helps. Now we're going to look for that corner. Our two corners are here. We can put stitch markers in there if you'd like. I know it's a bit tricky to see with the black yarn, but there is our corner. So I've started the corner on the square I'm working on. So I'm going to put my hook down into the corner space of the block I'm joining to and just grab my yarn and bring it up and slip stitch. So there is our first join. Now I'm going to finish this corner. The slip stitch counts as our chain, so we're not doing a chain one in the corner, we're just doing slip stitches instead. And into the very same stitch, I'm going to finish that corner with my double crochet. I'm using a bit of tension, especially for the corners, because I like my corners to have a nice tight join. And now I'm going to look, well actually I'm going to feel along my block that I have finished and wiggle with my fingers. This corner stitch right here, I want to slip stitch into the top of it. So there's my corner up above, my chain and my double crochet. I'm going to go into that very first stitch of this side and make a slip stitch. Slip stitch. Wrap your yarn and into the next stitch you make your double crochet. Pull your hook down and wiggle with your fingers. The next stitch, the next double crochet is right here. So we're going to slip stitch into that next stitch. Put your hook down, grab your yarn and bring it up and slip stitch with both strands to join. Wrap your yarn, double crochet into the next stitch. And I'm just letting this piece I've finished, the, the one I'm joining to, I'm just letting it hang there. And then when I need it, I bring my hook down and I can feel with my fingers, I've worked into this stitch. So I'm going to go into the very next stitch right there. So I'm doing my double crochet and a slip stitch at the top to join. So double crochet into your work and slip stitch in to the top of the next stitch above to join. So you're doing your double crochet and a slip stitch. So double crochet into your work, pull your hook down and feel for that next stitch. We're going to go right into the top with a little slip stitch. So put your hook down into your work, bring your yarn through and slip stitch to join. Double crochet into the block you're working on. Pull your hook down, wiggle your fingers to feel that next stitch right there slip stitch. Wrap your yarn, double crochet into the, your next stitch. Pull your hook down, wiggle with your fingers to feel your next stitch. And slip stitch. Double crochet into your block that you're working on. Pull your hook down, feel for your next stitch right here. Put your hook in and slip stitch. Now we're into the corner of the block we are working on. So one double crochet into that same stitch. That finishes our double crochets on the block that we're working on. And now we're going to go straight in to the space of our corner. So we can take out that stitch marker. We're going to go right into that space and do a slip stitch. That counts as our chain one. We're just going to jump straight over and we're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain to join and finish this round. So put your hook in and slip stitch like that. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down. So there is our first two blocks joined. And now we're going to join our second one. We're going to join the next block on two sides. You can put stitch markers into the corner of the block that you are working into if you want to keep an eye on where you're going to start and where you're going to finish. And keep it above you. Now we're going to work around here. We want to leave two sides empty. 
So I have done four sides of my hexagon. Two sides are still empty and the next stitch is my corner. So into that corner, I'm just going to start my corner with one double crochet and now we're going to slip stitch to join. So into that corner space where I have the two double crochets into the same spot, that is where we're going to start. So I'm going to put my hook straight down and bring my yarn through and slip stitch. Now I'm just letting that hang, I'm not worrying about it. Wrap your yarn, add one more double crochet into the same stitch to make your corner. Fold your hook back a little bit or fold your work down with your hook and wiggle your fingers to find that very next stitch. Just right there. Right after that corner, slip stitch to join. One double crochet into your work. Bring your hook down, wiggle your fingers to find that next stitch. Slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn, one double crochet into your work. Bring your hook down, wiggle your fingers to find that next stitch. Put your hook down into your work, bring your yarn up and slip stitch to join. So we're gonna keep doing that all the way along this side, making a one double crochet into our work. Bring our hook down, wiggling your fingers to find that next stitch and making one slip stitch to join. I'm gonna do this all the way along. So one double crochet into your work. One slip stitch into the top of the next stitch. One double crochet into your work. Wiggle your fingers to find that next stitch. One slip stitch to join. Double crochet into your work. Bring your hook down, wiggle your fingers to find that next stitch. Put your hook down into your work, bring your yarn up and slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn, double crochet into your work. Hook down towards you, wiggle your fingers to find the next stitch. Put your hook down into your work and slip stitch to join. The next stitch is our corner. So one double crochet into the fourth stitch of that petal. And now we're gonna go straight over into the first corner spot. So put your hook down into that corner space, bring your yarn up. I'm holding it on my hook with my finger and I'll find the opposite corner of the other uh, square, the other block. Put your hook down and bring the yarn up. So now there's three loops. I've done a little slip stitch into both of those corners. Turn your hook and slip stitch through all of that to join. I'm using tension. I'm pulling on this yarn quite a bit because I want that to be, I want my corners to be nice and tight. And one double crochet into the same stitch. Now you can kind of relax a bit. That's all nice and tight in there. And then working down the side of the next block right into that first stitch of the corner, the top of the first stitch, slip stitch to join. And now you're just gonna work along this side. One double crochet into your work and one slip stitch to join. So you're just matching up your stitches, making a fresh double crochet into the block you're joining and a slip stitch into the top of this corresponding stitch of the block you've already finished. So keep working along this side, making one double crochet into your work and one slip stitch into the stitch above. And now we'll just keep going like this all the way until we reach the end of this row. So when you get back right, so to finish our corner, our last double crochet right into the same stitch that we joined and our last slip stitch is going to be right into that corner space. Now if you have extra stitches or it's not lining up, you can also do a slip stitch into the stitch before the space and then another one with your next stitch into the corner. This is where you can adjust what you're doing, but I'm just skipping straight over into that corner space. So my last double crochet ends up in the corner space slip stitch 
And now I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that chain three. And I'm using some tension. I always want my corner joins to be nice and tight. So there's my slip stitch, chain one to secure. Cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. So now we have joined two hexagons and we're gonna keep doing the exact same thing, working all the way along until we get to our last hexagon of this round. So pause the video and join up two more of your hexagons and I'll meet you for the last one. So I have joined the four hexagons around the pentagon and there's one more space to put your last hexagon of this round, of the second round. So for this block, we are gonna be joining on three sides. So you want to have your hexagon completed on three sides with three sides empty. And then we're just gonna join it right in like that. And don't worry, cause it's flat. It looks like we're gonna be cinching it all together and we are because we want it to turn into a ball shape. So we're going to start the same way. I have done my first double crochet into that corner, or what will be the corner, the fourth stitch of that petal. And I'm going to put my hook down into the corner of this petal right here, just that first corner. So put your hook in, bring it up, and slip stitch to join. And I'm not holding my work, my finished piece. I'm just really working on the square that I'm doing. So back into that corner one double crochet and into the very first stitch. So here's my corner, one, two. I'm going to go right into the top of that very first double crochet. So put your hook down into your work, bring your yarn up and slip stitch. So now we're going to be doing this the same way, one double crochet into the piece you're working on and just using your fingers, finding the next stitch and slip stitching into the top of the next stitch. Double crochet into your work. Slip stitch into the piece above. And just keep going like this all the way along until you reach your corner. Into the fourth stitch of that petal. I'll start my corner. And when you start your corner, you're gonna find the corner of the first square, the one that you're joined to already and put your hook down into it and bring your yarn up. Two loops of yarn on your hook. Find the corner of the next block that you've joined. Put your hook down, bring your yarn up. So three loops of yarn on your hook. And I'm pulling on my yarn. I want this to be nice and tight. And just bring that through both loops. Still using some tension one double crochet into the same stitch. So that is going to be our corner join. Slip stitch into that very first stitch and continue along this side until the corner. Into the fourth stitch of your next petal, start your corner, so one double crochet. Find your corner, we want to go right into the middle of that corner space. Bring your yarn back up, so two loops of yarn on your hook. Find the next corner. Put your hook down in between those stitches and bring your yarn up. So three loops, turn your hook so it's facing down and slip stitch through both of those strands. Wrap your yarn, still using tension or pulling on your yarn a little bit so it's nice and tight. One double crochet into the same stitch. Now you can relax, you've done your corner and just keep going along this side. Slip stitch into the next stitch and one double crochet into the piece you are joining. So keep working along like this and I'll meet you at the end of this side. So I've done my last double crochet. I'm gonna find that corner and slip stitch right into that corner space. One slip stitch. And I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three. So just this nice little spot right there. We're going to do a little slip stitch, two strands of that chain on the top of my hook. So put your hook in and slip stitch. That finishes up our join. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Now you'll see it's kind of dishy. It wants to be that shape and that is what we want. We want it to be almost like a little fruit bowl. 
or a little shield. So this completes row two. So lay out your hexagons for your next row. We're gonna be joining 10 hexagons. So every single side gets a hexagon. You can start by putting ones into that valley, into the corner, and then add the ones onto the flat side, or just work your way around. But you'll be adding 10 hexagons for round three, and we're gonna be doing it the same way. So lay them out so that you're happy with how they look and pick one to start joining. I'll start my join with the one with two sides of a join, so I'm gonna complete this hexagon leaving two sides empty. So I've added my yarn on four sides, leaving two sides empty, and I'm ready to join into this spot right there. So rotate your work so it's sitting on top of your workspace. Pull your yarn so you have a nice small stitch on your hook, and find the center of that first corner that you're gonna to join to. Put your hook in and slip stitch to start that join. One double crochet into the same stitch to finish your corner. And one slip stitch into the top of the very first stitch. That's the corner stitch right there. And now keep joining along this side, same as you did before. One double crochet into the block you are working on. Pull your hook down and wiggle your fingers to find the next stitch above and slip stitch to join. So keep going like this all the way along. I'll meet you in the corner. When you reach your corner, put your hook down into that first corner, bring your yarn up, find the next corner of the next block, put your hook down, bring your yarn up, turn your hook, and slip stitch through both strands to join. Wrap your yarn and one double crochet into the same stitch. And that has done our corner join. And now keep going along this side of your block and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Finish that row by making one double crochet into that corner stitch and slip stitch in to the corner space of the block you're joining to. Slip stitch, slip stitch to the top of our chain three. You want two strands of that stitch on your hook. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. So this is the hexagon we have joined. We're gonna keep working our way around, joining one, 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 until we have finished row three. What you might wanna do is pop a stitch marker into that center pentagon so you know where you started or you know the center of your shape. And you can also put a stitch marker into the corner of the block you've just joined so you know where to finish. So here is your center pentagon with a stitch marker and here is your finish line. We're just gonna keep working around, adding one, one, one until we reach back here. So I joined my first hexagon on two sides and I joined my second hexagon on two sides. My third hexagon I'm joining on three sides. So this row is going to alternate joining on three sides and joining on two sides, but when you get into a little dish shape like this, that does mean we're joining on three sides. So keep an eye out for this. So if you see a little dish shape like this starting, it means we're going to be joining on three sides. So we're going to start our join way over here on the third. So we're going to join one, two, and three of these motifs onto the one, two, and three sides of our new hexagon. So just alternate, joining with two sides, three sides, whatever your pattern needs all the way around, and I'll meet you when you get back over here. So after row three, it looks like a pentagon. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab some stitch markers. You'll need five stitch markers. And now if you're looking at the edge, some of them will be flat across the bottom. We want to find the ones that are flat at the bottom. And when you find a flat one, put a stitch marker on it like that. I put mine just around one of those posts just so I can still use these stitches. And then just turn your work. This has a point, so we're not doing that. This is flat. We'll do this one. And just keep rotating your work. If it's pointy, leave it alone. If it's flat, put a stitch marker. 
So there is our five stitch markers. We found our five flat pieces. Now we'll take our pentagons and find some that match or that contrast your color. And wherever we have a stitch marker, we're gonna attach one side of a pentagon. So one over here, over there. So we'll join these the same way. Put your working piece up above and work all the way around your pentagon, leaving one side empty where we'll do our join. So one side left, and I'm right at that corner. I've done my first double crochet. So I'm gonna find that corner in between those two stitches that are in the same stitch and start my join. So slip stitch to join and double crochets into the very same stitch for our corner on the block we are joining. Hook down, wiggle to find that next stitch and slip stitch. So work across this side here, joining the same way we have, just joining one side so pause the video and I'll meet you at the end of this row. So I've made my double crochet into that corner stitch. So I'm gonna find the corner space on the block I finished, hook down, yarn up, and slip stitch to join. Straight over to the top of the chain three, slip stitch to join. Chain one to secure your yarn, cut your yarn, hook up, yarn through, and snug down to secure. So pause the video and get these other pentagons joined up where you have your stitch marker, just on the one side, exactly the same as this, and then we'll meet back. So now your shape looks like this. All the flat sides have a pentagon stuck onto it. So in between each of our pentagons, we're gonna put two hexagons. So the first one we're gonna join up on the three sides, so starting here joining, joining, and finishing on this side. And the second, we're gonna join on four sides. So one, two, three, and four. So you're just gonna complete two sides of your second hexagon. And then when this is joined, you will rotate your work and you'll put a hexagon here and a hexagon here and keep going all the way around until you've completed round four. When you finish row four and fold it in half, it will be this kind of shell shape. Do your ends so that you don't have any tails to sew in once your ball is together. You don't want any ends wiggling out from the nice side of your ball when it's finished. Go ahead and make one more exactly like this. When you have your second one, we are ready to start joining. So lay them out side by side. We're gonna be joining with a row of hexagons in between each one. So you'll need 15 hexagons for this and keep your fancy hexagon for last. So to join, we're gonna work up this one side and the second side, skip across without joining and then join and join. And then we'll tie off here. So we wanna finish this side with our yarn so I've done my join on the one side. So get yourself situated and now do our normal join. So into the corner with both those double crochets, slip stitch to join and now finish this side. Start your corner into that corner stitch of your petal and slip stitch into the corner space of the block you have finished. Now we're gonna rotate our work again into the corner stitch, one double crochet and now just work across this side until you reach the corner stitch of the next petal. Just like that. And rotate your work again. And now we're joining to the second half of our cover. So into the point coming down that corner, put your hook down and slip stitch to join. Now we're gonna join this side and the second side to complete the center seam. So to finish, slip stitch into that corner space and slip stitch to the top of that chain three. Chain one, to secure your yarn, cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down. So that was our first join of our half and now we have all these spaces going all the way along our blanket where we can keep putting in hexagons. 
So now for each hexagon going along our center seam or our join, we're gonna be joining on five sides. So we're gonna start here and join one, two, three, four, and five sides. So that means we're only gonna be starting with one side completed for every hexagon that we're putting around. So one side started on your hexagon and now we're gonna join on all five sides. So lay it all out how we do, where you're working on, the seam you're working on up above and your piece that you are joining closest to you. Put your hook down into that corner space, that peak that is facing down. Poke your hook in and slip stitch to join. One double crochet into the same stitch. And now work along this entire side. Same as we always did, one double crochet into the block you're joining and one slip stitch into the corresponding stitch of the block you have completed. Every time you finish a side, just rotate your work so the side you are joining to is above. That'll help everything make sense. Now keep going until you get to where we joined. So finished my join, did my chain one. Cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that one down to secure. So we're gonna do the same thing with the next hexagon and all the way around our blanket. It'll start getting a bit wrinkly and awkward shaped, so just kinda keep flat the area that you're actually joining to and join on all five sides all the way around. So pause the video and keep joining up your hexagons until you have just your special one left. So when you've joined everywhere except for one hexagon, insert your deflated exercise ball, leaving the nozzle where it is open. Go ahead and get your fancy square. And this square we're gonna join on one side. So we're gonna do five sides with the regular yarn first. I have finished going around my last hexagon, leaving one side. So we're just gonna make it like a hatch for our exercise ball. So to join into a corner, so to join, we're gonna go into that first corner, bring our yarn up, go into the second corner, bring our yarn up, and slip stitch through both strands to join. Now we're gonna join as usual for this side. So back into the same stitch for our corner, and slip stitch into the top of that first stitch to join. And now just work along this side, into that last corner stitch with your double crochet, and into both corners to slip stitch. And slip stitch to the top of that chain three to join. And chain one. So pull up a big loop of your yarn, put your hand through, grab your ball of yarn and bring it through. So that's gonna be our chain one to secure our join. And now we can use the same yarn to single crochet this shut when we're done inflating our ball. So leave your yarn attached, grab your pump or whatever device you are using and inflate your ball. I've just put a piece of paper on my ball so you can see the stitches a little better. Go into the first stitch and the corresponding stitch on the other side. Bring your yarn back through and chain one into the next stitch and find the next stitch on the other side. Bring your yarn through and now you can make one single crochet. So into the stitch on the side you're joining, into the stitch of your ball, bring your yarn through and single crochet. So we're just gonna work putting our hook into one stitch on the block we're joining, into the same stitch of our ball Bring our yarn through and one single crochet all the way along our side. So two stitches on our hook and single crochet them together. Now I'm into the corner space. So into the corner space and up into the next corner space. One single crochet. So that's just joining these two sides here. I hope you can see, sorry, awkward. And then same thing back into that corner space and into the opposite corner. So we're gonna do two single crochets really into the same space of our block. That's gonna help us get around that little corner. And now the same thing on this side, into the stitch of the block we're joining, 
and into the stitch of the ball cover already that's already finished, one single crochet. So we're just gonna go along making one single crochet into each stitch and into the corners, one single crochet into our block and into the opposite corner and again into the next. So we're doing two single crochets per corner and always just go from yourself, away from yourself into the next block. So we've joined our two sides so far. Now the next one is into the corner space. So into this, into the corner space of my block, into the corner space of the cover, one single crochet, and again into the same corner space and out the opposite corner, one single crochet. Rotate your work a little bit. So now keep working your way along one single crochet into both stitches all the way along and then in your corners one single crochet into the corner of the block you're joining and into the corner space of the block you've already joined and again one single crochet into the same corner and again one single crochet into the corner you're joining and also into the new side that you haven't joined yet so two single crochets into the corner space of your block and one into each stitch along each side and I'll meet you when we get to the end of this join. So I worked into my last stitch over here. Now I have my corner. So it's all kind of joined up already, but I'm gonna go into the corner of my block and out the corner I just joined and make a slip stitch and a chain one. So cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to use later. We're gonna keep this we're going to be able to open this up later and undo it if we need it. So pull that up and just snug that down loosely to secure. Grab a needle and just thread that tail. We're not going to sew it in. We're just going to tuck it underneath. So I'm not going to go into any stitches. I'm going to make sure I can see that ball underneath there. And I'm just going to slide my needle underneath right along the top of that exercise ball and pull it out underneath a space down below and then tuck that tail under. So if we need to undo our ball later, we can just look along. This side feels flatter where we joined. So I know that I crocheted this way around. We went around this circle. So I'll know here to pick at something until that tail comes up. So that is how you can adjust your ball later. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I would love to see yours. You can find me over on Instagram at Secret Yarnery or Facebook, the Secret Yarnery Crochet Community. I'd love to see how yours turned out. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell beside that so you don't miss out on any awesome crochet tutorials just like this. I'll see you in the next video and stay hooked.